Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Kevin. I'm the owner and founder of survivalistboards.com, a community of like-minded individuals. The topic of this video is prepping resources, or real-world prepping resources. What is your, let's see the top three, top three. Top three real-world prepping resources. And you're probably going to say, Kevin, if this, you're, you're going to advertise the forum. And I'm like, oh, no, no, this is real world experience guys where are you going to go out and get your first hand information first place your locally owned farm supply store locally owned and operated not the big box marts not the big box marts that go into a company that go into a small town and set up i'm not going to mention any names you know who they are go out there and set up and then hire people come in and work for barely a minimum wage to sell a product you go out there and you talk to the, like, for an example, for an example, I do just about all of my business through Circle 3 Feed in Jasper, Texas. It's off 190 going towards Newton. The owner of the store works there. You walk in there, talk to her about anything. We talk, when everybody go in there, we talk about guineas. We talk about chickens. We talk about gardening. We just talk about all kinds of stuff. And don't call her. Don't call up there, hey, do you, do you know Kevin, the owner of a website that goes in there? No, because I, a lot of stuff I practice gray man is that people around town, unless they recognize me off a video, they have no idea what I do. So it's part of my gray man policy. Go in, wearing like what you see here, just my work boots, jeans, cohort work shirt. Just walk in, talk to them about feed and fertilizer store. They're gonna give you your first hand information. Those feed and fertilizer stores, farm supply stores are gonna give you your best hands-on local information. They're going to be able to tell you what zone you're in for your gardening and when to plant, when not to plant, when to plant what, when not to plant what. Just all kinds of various information. It's your first place. Second place is your locally owned and operated farmer's market, where the farmers, local farmers, come in to sell their stuff. They're over there on... Oh, in Jasper, we've got a little farmer's market that meets sometimes out, outside tractor supply. Or in the big parking lot. That's a big parking lot, not outside tractor supply in particular. But the big parking lot, a little strip center there, and that's where they meet at. You go in there, you talk, people selling tomatoes. One guy said he had like 300 tomato plants. And you go in there and you talk to these people. Well, what kind of chickens do you have? What kind do you, I mean, do they lay good? Or, and you go in there. Don't just go in there and ask questions, or just don't go to the farm and feed store and ask questions. Go in there and buy something. No, whenever the people, whenever the owner or whoever works there sees you walking in, they know you're not wasting their time, that you're there to make a purchase, and that you want information about to, to make a good purchase. All right, so the, back to the farmer's market. Go in there, you talk to the people at the farmer's market. Well, what kind of chickens do you have? Well, I've got some Rhode Island Red. I got some Barred Rocks. I got some Wine Dots. And then you get there talking about the different types of chickens and which ones deal with confinement better than others. Like the Barred Rock, my Barred Rocks are never happy. You could have a half acre chicken yard like what I've got and they still want to get out. Dominickers still want to get out. My Dominickers get out all the time. Rhode Island Reds, Australorps. Uh, what's some of the other ones I got? Jersey Giant deal with confinement a lot better than they than other breeds do. So that's the kind of information you're going to go down there and talk, oh, this sure is a nice looking tomato. Man, what kind of fertilizer you use? Or And some of them may not want to talk about it. Some of them may not want to talk about it. Well, I, I use a little of this and that. Don't pester them. Well, that's a nice tomato. Buy some from it. Buy some tomatoes from me. Buy some potatoes. Buy some squash, zucchini. Go in there and talk to the people. Build up a repertoire with the local farmers. Next time you go, well, hey, yeah, I remember I bought some tomatoes from you. Those, those were delicious. Those were great tomatoes. I'd like to get some more from you. And um, next time, maybe ask them, well, you know, what kind of tomatoes are these? When do you usually plant them? What kind of fertilizer do you use? Do you use organic? Do you use mulch? And they, they'll, the farmer markets, it's kind of hit and miss that a lot of people are just willing and ready and eager to talk to other people. Some not so much. Some not so much. So those that don't want to talk, then don't pester them. Third, this is where I'm doing a sales pitch for the forum, guys. And yet y'all, you members know that y'all go there, you start a thread, you're gonna get a lot of replies. You're gonna get some good information, you're gonna get some not so good information. 
but that's the nature of the community. So, <clears throat> stay away from the big box marts. I'll give you an example. Have some people that I know went down to a big box mart, bought some chicks, little baby chicks, just a couple of days old. Asked the sales guy, what kind of feed do you give them? Guy handed them a bag of hen scratch. You can't feed chicks hen scratch. They can't digest it. Hen scratch is, is corn and seeds and other stuff. It's, it's for putting on weight on full-grown hens and chickens, full-grown roosters. Or not full-grown. But anyway, anyway, you'll get the idea. The chicks starved to death. A few days later, a week or so later, all the chicks had died because they could not it digest the chick starter but that's what you get when you go to the big box mart you go there you talk to the people they don't know they hired in off the street to stock shelves and make a sale but you go to the farm and feed store that the owner's livelihood depends on giving you quality information and providing you with a quality product so i can go there and i talk to them what about uh like guineas do guineas need chick off uh, uh Chick starter, which has a antibiotic in it for chicks, helps them reduce. And it's like, well, no, not really. I've never given my my guineas. And so you go in there, you talk to them about anything, like all stock or all feed, and different types of hen scratch, different types of feed, different types of seeds. That is your best resource. Okay, guys. Anyway, I'm repeating myself, and I had a viewer comment about that. And I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> all right, guys and gals. Until later. God bless. I'll talk to y'all later.